595C. I've already put a lot of uh, material at the front foot area of the passenger. And now I'm going to put a stair and the saw in, the, in as well. But it gives you an indication of how practical this car is. Even if you're not able to, so there it sits. Even if you're not able to uh, use the rooftop open, because otherwise you can top load, of course. Off the stair. Sits there. So additional material here for working. And still I have that car <laughs> that puts a smile on your face all the time. And that, my friend, makes a very nice all round a compromise. Perhaps you saw it already. When I was at the back, you also hear this uh, record Mons exhaust system working its charm. There's a car parked behind me. So I have to use this driveway a little bit to make the turn. Otherwise I have to drive the other way around. So you hear this uh, little uh, little ladder ticking a little bit, so I push it a little bit forward, but it keeps on ticking, but anyway, the record runs still beats it for sound, of course, that's a good thing in this situation, chopping a little bit, but it's nice, eh? often people think that you cannot do Harder work with a car like this. I like to prove them wrong. Having fun and having a car that could do it all. So that's it. <laughs> if it was it was today a sunny day, yeah? as, you, as you saw, and you can still see no rain, nothing. But if it was a, a rainy day, you can still take it with you like this, like I did now. But on a sunny day you can just uh, top load it and uh, clamp it between the front seats and still have room for three to four people perhaps. So also take that into consideration that with other cars if you have the solid roof version of the part 595 then if you place this ladder inside you will miss room for your occupants this you can just top load it and of course they have to push their legs around it and it will not be the most comfortable ride but you can do it you can manage and that's a good thing huh? so there are often many options to solve one problem and of course as I also mentioned in my earlier videos if you have a station wagon or a bigger hatchback that's oftentimes the best compromise efficient dynamics that you have a car that can do it all and still efficient also in performance because you have power station you have hot hatches this is a hot hatch uh, convertible so to say but you still have that four seat ca capacity like the normal regular one you have more loading uh, capability options and it also weighs just a tad more than uh, the solid roof version. You still have also this safety in place. Uh, if you roll over, you will be a lot safer in this than in uh, your average convertible. You can just use what you want. And you can also open the roof a little bit like this. It already gives you a nice atmosphere without going all the way. Then you can just of course top load it like that and then clamp it between the, the, the seat and the back row and you will be fine. But that's it. Found my car uh, giving you all this insight 
Also, if you're a hot hatch or an apart uh, lover, so this is not strictly a hot hatch, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, convertible in this case. But you can see it's enjoying life and making do with what you have instead of making things complex and hard. So we'll close the roof now because we're going to park. Oh. <coughs> A little bit of character. Perhaps I pushed the wrong button, but it was uh, opening even more. So it's now uh, November in uh, Holland. And as you saw, on a sunny day you can still enjoy the, the roof open. But even with the roof closed, you can really enjoy this uh, record of the soundtrack. Give you all the pops and bangs and busy sounds make driving an internal combustion engine like this is a pleasurable experience. Hope you liked it. Uh, let's see if so I have my car here. Perhaps I can do it like that if my brother still has room. Because he has that uh, station wagon and he needs more room than this little cupcake does. Sometimes people tell you you will have a car that cannot manage and of course the station wagon is a lot more practical but this is more practical in parking huh? Car out. Found a car. We had a work. My uh, mother's uh, house. So I took a, a ladder and some demolition stuff and put it all in the abort without even sweating it because I did not have to remove the hard top roof. It was soft top. It was not uh, opened. And still everything fitted. It only had one seat at the back. I also went with my brother and my nephew for some things that we needed to make uh, the electricity work. To attach and to elongate uh, elongate cable. And uh, three people were in it and the ladder and the demolition stuff and all fitted. We took the roof uh, roof down and opened the roof for a bit when there was some sun. And we closed it for the way back. Enjoyed the uh, record Ponce soundtrack. As for you, I hope. And all in the day's work. You hear the uh, tools each other in the record motor just chirping away very friendly uh, no it's more Italian bravado eh? but all in a day's work a nice car to do it all it's also a gorgeous uh, sunset I will try to get you if you a little bit of a taste look at that to uh, reality. <laughs> So uh, TT 
acid. There's a video or multiple videos also on my channel if you are interested. And that's yeah, of course fantastic that you have that high red line, high red line. So it's a 9,000 RPM uh, or above supercar, 500 and a bit horsepower, naturally aspirated. Of course, this is fantastic. But this little turbocharged 1.4 liter. <laughs> Four cylinder is also sounding ridiculously good with this record Monza exhaust system. So, if you want something that you can enjoy, of course, uh, a naturally aspirated is often the way to go. But even if you are not allowed to, a turbocharged car can sound very good, especially if it's not part. Because many of you might not know this, but Abarth started its uh, company by making uh, exhaust, racing exhaust. So it's in their DNA to sound fantastic. And it's also a pity that the new Abarth is an electric one, so you will lose that classical Abarth sound. And they are now opting three different routes to still make it uh, sound nice in electric form but those in my opinion are never as good as uh, the ice internal combustion engine sounds and I think they would be rather uh, better off if they would just go with a bar sounds real bar sounds and match them to the refs to some degree with the electric engine hope this helps Foundry car out